Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today our topic is can we extract a table with ML extractor in document understanding. So have you tried it? For example, if this is the invoice I am going to show you and if I ask you can you extract the entire data from this table which is there inside the invoice. Okay, so have you tried? Have you tried which algorithm from the ML extractor you need to use and how to use it? If not, this is the video which is going to help you. So let's get started. Before that, anyone who is very new to our channel, please be kind to like all our contents that you are watching because there goes a lot of effort in the background and also do subscribe to our channel. Most of our subscribers are liking all the contents that we are producing on our channel. So please do subscribe and check it yourself. With that, let's get started. Let's go back to Yapa Studio and start designing it. Now for this ML extraction, all you need is a pretty good nice template which I have shown in the yesterday's video. So this is the template which is created. Okay, very simple template for the entire document understanding containing all the required steps until the validation. So you can, I hope you have already designed it. In case uh, for the first time you are watching this, so let me tell you, this is the, these are the two different videos which is going to help you. The entire template design is shown in this video. I'm going to provide you the link and also um, for the machine learning extractor, how do you put that API key? How do you put the endpoint? Even those things I have described in this video. So both the links I'm going to provide you, which is going to help you. All right. Now on this video, we will straight, straight away target to the data extraction step. So data extraction step, what to do? We are going to target over there. Okay. So let's expand it. And drag and drop the invoice ml extractor or the ml extractor and then and put the endpoints okay so this all this i have shown in the previous video you can watch that i'm going to provide you the link now here we would concentrate how do i pull the table how do i pull the entire table that is what is our objective for this video so for the very first step that i should do let's go to taxonomy manager okay now here in the invoices we have to extract the table for that what i'm going to do i'm going to click create a new field and i will say items and all you need to do is here in the type there is something called table so go ahead and select table clear that is the first step so i need all the items so i have created items as the field name and selected table that is the very first step now the second step what are the uh, fields that you would like to extract or what are the columns you would like to extract from this table so i need all the columns so let's quickly create them first one is quantity which is a number and then save it and the second one is description and this would be pretty useful a lot of your projects you need this table so description and description is a text done now the next one is unit price simple unit price a unit price is a number pretty simple now the next thing is amount amount and this is also a number and saved done so we got all the four different columns our task is done now here all you need to do is hit on save okay what many people do the mistake when they want a table many people uh, let's say they write items they use ease multiple value and they fail to extract the exact table so this is the perfect way okay so you created the fields you created the fields and select table and start writing whatever the columns you need from that table if you need one two three four or whatever it is mention that so i am showing all the four items so let's save it and let's come out of the taxonomy manager so that is the first modification you have to do in your document understanding workflow now the second thing all i need to do is uh, as in um, regex extractor i have shown you you go inside and write an uh, you know expression for it but not not for the ml extractor 
the uh, expressions or the algorithm is written in the backend and all you need to do is select it properly so let me go to configure extractor so your only job is to select it okay so open uh, configure extractor and here as we are dealing with invoices so for invoice number let me show you how to do that uh, for invoice number in so all these drop downs are available all you need to do is select the right one okay date company name now for the table if you see under invoices the table has its own set of columns that i want to extract now for the items what you do the first thing you have something called items okay so once you select items then you would be able to find all these options let's say quantity so just select and save it so how easy to use it right very simple i don't have to take any headache all i need to know the process of doing it so quantity quantity then description so all the direct fields are available unit price uh, unit price and then amount line amount okay line up for each line amount so line amount okay so i have selected all the options hit on save now uh, I, I you know in the validation step we, we are going to see through the present validation step we are going to see what is the output going to come okay if you got worried looking at the screen just watch my previous video all these things would be pretty clear and i have requested many of you to create this simple workflow as i have done it and save it on your so that you can do a lot of experiments all right so now let's run it and see what is the output coming and how it is coming okay let's see if it is if it is able to pull all the required and one more thing while you were running it let's say you have got multiple files from your uh, uh, this one a folder what i have done is i have removed all those downloaded files to a separate folder and kept it only invoice so that i can just experiment on invoice okay so all these are basic things which uh, you know you can do it okay it's running let's see okay so the validation station has come let's see the invoice number all this will be proper uh, invoice date is proper uh, and then comp company name okay company name is proper and then items so this is where our goal is items so if you see items all you need to do is here there is something called table on this icon just click on it okay so if you click on it it is going to show you what kind of a data it is extracting so quantity if you see 10 17 3 so all this description unit price amount all this has been extracted properly if something is wrong you can always modify it over here but it is going to pull the proper data okay so the modification option is also available in case something is not getting extracted or you wanted to highlight it again so if you want to do let's say the table is not getting pulled you want to do it again so there is something called extract new table and then you can click on it and highlight the specific area where you have the table with this you can see so it is going to extract save new table so all these options can be done okay then you can so which are those fields it's quite simple and here what is this is quantity so manually in case it's not you're not able to select the table uh, this is the manual way of doing generally it's not required uh, what was that quantity description uh, unit price i think and then amount okay so save new table if you do this it is automatically going to uh, you know pull out the required amount of data right so but my recommendation is to go directly whatever is coming out that is fine i mean uh, the previous one is was fine okay so this is another way of extracting the required amount of data 10 17 3 uh, if you see uh, description unit price it has pulled all the required data 63000 okay so this is another way of manually doing it if not you can directly go with the direct option so all you need to understand is how to utilize it i hope with this content uh, this must have been pretty clear on how do you extract now another question that might be coming into your mind 
how do I save it to an uh, Excel file or how do I use it right that is the question that would come to your mind so I'm going to prepare uh, in the next steps because right now we are into the validation step once we continue with the next steps I'm going to even show those examples but right now you should be pretty aware of the process how to literally extract the table and that is a very simple step so thank you so much for watching we are going to come up with our next upcoming uh, content so please do like uh, please be kind to like the content that you're watching and please do subscribe in case you are a new visitor thank you take care bye bye